Next will be the AV loop and the pump suckers that are attached to it. We will take this whole thing out. We come over to our circuit. Hang the pump suckers somewhere over here. Gonna hang the AV loop on here. And then first you would connect the venous line. Try to maintain the CDI venous cell in a way so that it is facing up like this, so that if there is any air, it will go to the top and it will not interfere with the reading. And then hook it up to the 3 8 inch port on the venous line. Once that's done, Next step would be to connect the outlet from the oxygenator and the arterial line filter. Once you've done that, you can connect the bridge. You're all set there. Now the next thing you want to do is just clamp this Robert's clamp for now. And while you're priming it, you will open it again. And the next best thing to do is probably set up the pump suckers in case you are in an emergency and you might have to go on pumper, sucker bypass. It might be a good idea to set up the pump suckers. So you probably start with the one that is older, older in the corner, the green. That's usually often used as a pump sucker. And I'll probably set that one up first to try to just to have it be a little neater. And when you're setting this up, I would have it connected first. So you want to go around the entire uh, holders here and go around. Otherwise, you might have trouble when you're tearing down. and hook it up. And then when you set up, just trace just trace the uh, the order that you have it in when you put it into the uh, roller head. Making sure that the outlet will be on the correct side. That's it for the green. Now the yellow is most often used as either an LV vent or a sump. And the same thing with that, go around everything. Again, confirm the direction. Lastly, the blue, which is often used as an aortic root vent.
Okay. Next, what we'll do is we can load, actually load this tubing into our bubble detector and our e-clamp. So whenever you remove move either the e-clamp or the bubble detector, make sure to loose, loosen the holding here. That will give you a little more freedom to move it around without damaging the holders. And then tighten up. So the bubble detector goes first. Then after the bubble detector will be the e-clamp. Again, loosen it before moving it. And if the e-clamp is engaged, you can always disengage the e-clamp by manually opening it, closing it, or opening it. And once, once that is set in place, you can tighten it and lock it in.